morning, all empathic, sensitive souls. Hello, welcome to November. It is November 1st today. How was your Halloween? Did you survive? Did you trick or treat? Did you hand out the treats? Did you take the kids around town? Well, I had about 20 trick or treaters and of the 20, six of them were my great nieces and nephews. So I didn't have a lot of trick or treaters this year but it was cold, oh my gosh. In the morning we had snow, some areas got a dusting to an inch and we had a very light dusting here and it was cold. In fact, it was snowing, spitting snow at six o'clock last night. It was like 34 degrees, it was bitterly cold and windy. So I did not have a lot of trick-or-treaters, which was okay. But yet I really wanted to get rid of my candy. I had been on my 42 day eating plan and then I got Halloween candy. And I had gotten into the Halloween candy and I kept telling myself, nope, I'm, I'm done. I'm not eating anymore. I ate what I wanted out of it. And then I bought another bag because my nephew was over and he helped me eat more of the candy. And then I got another bag. So I had two more bags of candy. And I am like an alcoholic, but with sugar. Once I start, I don't stop. So I had gotten into the bag of candy again. And like any addict, you just can't, can't quit it is so hard so last night I decided that once the Halloween is over with the Halloween is over with I am done with the candy now I'm going back to my sugar-free pudding and it was funny because as I was grocery shopping last week and I'm like you know you should pick up some milk stop at the quick trip pick up a, a quart of milk make the sugar-free pudding and that will suffice that creamy texture that oh luscious you know that i love that that pudding the ice cream and i really shouldn't have ice cream i shouldn't eat a lot of dairy but the sugar-free pudding yes it has the dairy in it but it stops me from going for the ice cream which i really really want and it satisfies that sweet tooth that I don't get into the rest of the Halloween candy. But I didn't pick up any milk. I'm like, nah, I'll wait till after Halloween. I'll wait till the following weekend when I do my grocery shopping again. And it was hilarious because after trick or treating last night, I hopped on Facebook and I caught a card reader from Australia. Her first name is Becca, B-E-C-C-A. I cannot remember her, her last name. I am so sorry. And she did a card reading and she pulled a card for me. And she started giggling and she goes, you know, I'm picking that your guides are absolutely hilarious. Par for the chorus for me. And she goes, they're showing me pudding. And I just bust out laughing because again, I had gotten into the Halloween candy while handing Halloween candy out. And I thought, you know, that is absolutely perfect. I should have bought the milk. I'm going to go buy milk and get my pudding made. So I will stop eating that Halloween candy. And then she goes, you have a sweet tooth. And they're telling me that you need to use that what if statement. What if I give up sugar? What if I substitute the sugar? What if I find a way to make what I want to make but sugar free? Use the what if statement. What if I get off the sugar? What will happen to me? And then our mantra for the week popped in my head. I matter. I matter. I, me, me. I matter. I am important to me. And that really shifted my 
mindset and my brain focus from, God, I, I, I got to have a piece of candy. And I would get up and walk across the entire house to get more candy after I just told myself one piece is enough. That's how that sugar addiction just controls my life. And I have to stop that. What if I stopped? What would happen to me? I matter enough in my own life to show up for myself, to take care of myself. Self-care is so important. And I can pamper myself. I don't have a problem with that. I don't mind taking a hot shower and putting on, you know, luscious smelling lotion and you know, watching a good movie and taking my downtime and, but what about my mental health? What about putting me first? They say on an airplane, if we go down, put your oxygen mask on first before you put the mask on to the person next to you. And the more I think about that, the more my mind is like, Denise, you are also important too. And taking care of your mental health is very important. And if you take care of your physical health, your mental health will scooch right along with you. Me taking care of my mental health to get rid of the sugar affects my physical health. Me taking care of my physical health, getting rid of the sugar, takes care of my mental health. It causes me brain fog. It slows me down. I think not as fast when I'm on sugar, which is funny because sugar is supposed to hype you up, but it doesn't for me. It's sugar is horrible. And getting that reading last night was my aha moment that, you know what? I'm important and I have to treat myself as an important person in my own life that taking care of this sugar addiction I have, because it is an addiction, oh my gosh, it is horrible, that I can change parts of my life. What if I got off the sugar kick? What would change in my life? I would actually have more energy. I would feel better. I would be mentally awake, aware. And I would be able to get back to my healthy eating plan. Even if I add sugar-free pudding in, which has the dairy in it, it's still better than the full candy sugar bomb that I've been eating this past week. Now the question is, what the heck do I do with the two huge bags of candy I have? I don't have room in my freezer. I could put it in a plastic tote and set it outside because it is so cold outside, it's not going to melt. I can send it to my nephew and my niece and let the great nieces and nephews paw over it. I could donate it to the veteran dinner that I have coming up as a quick snack after the meal if somebody wants a candy bar. And I might do that. I figured that I would run out of candy this year, of all years, to only have 20 trick-or-treaters. But I made that decision last night that I matter. I matter. I can look at myself in the mirror, I can look myself right in the eyeball and say, Denise, you know what? I matter. I matter. You matter. I matter. And to put myself, take myself seriously, put myself first in my own mind. I mean, I always take care of myself, but to really be serious about it, to take it as a serious You've got to change this. And, you, and I can. All I have to do is change my mindset. Change the energy around what I think about me being important. And realize that I don't need the sugar. 
I can take care of myself. I feel better off the sugar. I don't need it. I don't want it. And if I want something sweet, I have fruit to eat for crying out loud. But I really love the sugar. But if I can switch that out with sugar-free pudding. You know, they even have sugar-free candy. And it's not that bad. So there are ways around it. What if I bought sugar-free candy instead of regular candy? What if I gave all that candy away so it's out of the house and I can go back to my eating healthy plan? What would change in my life? What if? So that is now in my head. What if I matter? And that's the mantra for this week. How has that resonated with you? Did you survive your trick-or-treaters or trick-or-treating? It was, like I said, cold here, and people were driving their kids around in a car, and it was more of a snatch and grab because it was so cold here. Ridiculous. Everybody had their snow pants on and jackets, and the kids were shaking because it was cold. But we had a lot of cute trick-or-treaters that did show up, even under their snow pants you could tell their outfits were really cute my great niece came over and she had her fairy wings on the outside of her winter jacket but she rocked it she did good anyways everyone have a great fantastic wednesday i will report on friday and let you know how my going cold turkey on the halloween candy is going because i am going cold turkey today and what is the what's going to happen I'll probably get hangry and angry, coming off the sugar, and that's okay. Been there before. I done, I've done it before, twice in the last probably eight months. I can do it. I can survive. I don't know if everybody else can around me, but I know I will survive. Wish me luck, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.